G'day everyone, Brian from Prime Cuts Lawn Care. Yes, New South Wales, Australia. Well, we're on to the next bit. It's Wednesday morning, about quarter to 10, 3rd of July. It's uh, eight degrees, so it's a bit chilly, but I'll warm up soon. So we got all this up, up the driveway and all this uh, brackeny type stuff in here, which I'll start to get uh, tidied up. So as it was yesterday, my weapons of choice will be um, my um, hedge pruners, uh, the DeWalt hedge shears as well. And then the undergrowth will be with the uh, the brush cutter, which is attached to the steel combi uh, unit. The motor on that, uh, thanks for asking there, Doc. Doc at DLT Lawn Care is a KM94RC. So I've got uh, two combi units. They're both the same. I've had them for four and a half or five years now, and they're still going really well. But I do make sure that I look after them. I um, make sure that, you know, all the filters are right and clean. The, um, the spark arrestor, um, I clean that quite regularly. And also uh, where the attachment unit joins into the combi, I, I grease that as well. So uh, they, they work really well. So uh, we'll just get sorted and, and uh, get stuck into it. So just before I get started, just so you've got an idea, that's the driveway looking up the hill. Here's the outdoor furniture. And we'll just walk around. I'm just gonna dodge the furniture a bit here. And then this will enable you to see how thick, thick this is. It's very thick in there. All I can say, Tom Davey, is look at it. And it doesn't get any better as we pull back a bit and walk around. You can see back there towards the vehicle. So this small area, there's a lot to do. And then even... Just up here, various trees and alike. I just walk up these stairs and we're near the side of the house and then walking down the driveway again. And you can just see how thick everything is in there. So this is the tough bit. And then coming down the driveway now so like everything it started at the beginning and just getting stuck into it
So this is a bit, actually a bit worse than yesterday because it's all, it's very intertwined and it's not as brittle, but also down the bottom, it all snakes out from the base as well. So I'll get the nuts and bolts out and then I'll come back through with the brush cutter and clean up that ivy and then see what's left. And then I can uh, get in that with, get into that with either the, pruning shears or a chainsaw.
So you can see everyone where I've cut the line through there. So I'm just going to get that stuff out of there. And this will be my other little triangle for today. Like I said, it's, uh, it's a work in progress and there's uh, a lot to it. Okay, so that's all done. Everyone, I've got it cut. So I've got a line and another, like I said, another triangle today. Um, and now uh, I progressively get all the green waste in the back of the trailer and I'll do that. You can see all the rubbish up the back there. And then what I'll do is I'll get in here, like I did yesterday with the brush cutter, and, uh, and get that all that ivy down uh, and there's a lot of uh, you know little stalks and everything so I just got to be a little bit careful so I'll just get this rubbish in the trailer I won't won't show you that that takes a little while of chopping it all up because if I just put it in un unchopped up I wouldn't get much in at all so because it's all really squiggly and gnarly and and wiry So that's cleaned up everyone, everything's in the back of the trailer as you can see. All I have to do now is just get the brush cutter into that section and tidy that up a little bit more.
So that's all done everyone. Uh, there's uh, two and a quarter plus hours just getting that all tidied up. There's actually a big a log just there. Uh, so I couldn't couldn't go as low as what I wanted to, but got the bulk of it down now and I'm just as I said before just going to keep on working in sections so I'll just turn the camera around and we'll have a look at where we are so at the start of the little triangle section so and we'll just walk up up the driveway you can see the table and chairs there so everything's opened up And we just got a little bit more of a section opened up, which is good. So, just lots of little bits getting done. And then looking back down to where we are or where we started. Just walk in. Remember, this was pretty much all enclosed with shrubs and and rubbish. And I'll just come back to where we were before, where we're just showing that section. Still got all this to go, but starting to look really good and opened up. It's a long way from where we started. So the demolition of the jungle continues. Uh, it is a nice day, but it's cold and the breeze has come up off the Southern Alps and it's still nine degrees. So it is chilly. So that's my lot here for today. And uh, we'll get stuck into the rest of that in uh, in the next video so thank you everybody for watching thank you to all my subscribers i want to say a good day to jeff at mcphee's gardening in melbourne jeff i've still got to watch your roses uh pruning uh video because i know there'll be a lot of good advice so if anyone wants any advice on pruning roses uh get on to mcphee's gardening uh, services in Melbourne. So cheers Jeff and cheers to all my subscribers and all my viewers and catch you soon.